Hello and welcome back to Extra Central. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on with the new scene. So this will be part four of building the new scene. And hopefully in this video, I'm going to try aim to get it finished. Um, I would just like to firstly apologize for the lack of videos on this scene um, over the past few months. Uh, the reason why we haven't seen any more videos on this scene is because I've run out of supplies. Well, I was low on them rather. So I was really low on the static grass that I like to use. But um, I'm, I'll be going to the hobby shop tomorrow, so January the 13th. And um, basically I'll be getting a whole load of supplies there. Um, I was also very, very low on PVA glue, but since then I have been to the hardware store and brought a nice big 4 litre tub of PVA glue. So now, what I can do is I can continue on with the new scene. So, what we're going to start off with, we're going to put some base layer of scenery. Now, you've seen me do that before, so done using my usual method so um let's get started okay so my base layer of scenery consists of woodland scenics coarse turf woodland scenics blended turf green blend in this case and woodland scenics fine turf and um basically i put all three colors on there and that gives me a really nice base layer of scenery, so let's get started. All oh, right, so it's now been overnight since I last did this, and um, it's all nice and dry, so now we can apply our static grass. Now, in the last new scene build series video, this was what was left, and um, I've since brought static grass. Um, this is actually a different shade to the one that I use in here, and this is actually a company that I have used before, um, those little flowers I have in the back gardens, um, they're made by Nock. Um, I've never used Nock static grass before, so this is a new product to me. Um, it's six mil, so a little bit longer than the stuff I've got already, but I'm sure it should look pretty good. So I'm going to mix this with what I've got in there already, and hopefully it should look pretty good. So let's get started.
Okay, excellent. So, we got the static grass down. I've hoovered off the excess and put it back into the container for reuse. And um, whilst that's drying, let's go make some trees. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the trees. So, for that, I've got myself a Woodland Scenics learning kit, the trees one. And um, if you're new to making trees, this is brilliant. Comes with everything you need. So, tree armatures, two colours of foliage. Um, comes with a little bottle of hobby tack. But I've got some here just in case what's in there runs out. And then comes with some instructions that are on the back here. So um, I'm going to take you step by step and I'll show you how I make them. Alright, so um, I'm going to open up these trees. Do a little unboxing of these trees. So there's one colour. There's the other. There's that little bottle of hobby tack hopefully you can see they're okay and we've got a whole load of tree armatures and all different sizes as well so we've got this big one here and we've got these i suppose they're pine trees or something and we've got these little ones here as well some medium sized ones yeah all sorts of different sizes really so great piece of kit this one is and then there's those instructions i was talking about knocked over the hobby tack so yeah um i already know how to build these so i'm not i don't need to refer to these instructions because i already know how to build them so um and empty these into a container and uh see what they're like so let's get started okay so we're going to start off with this one here so it's going to twist off this base twist this little bit of plastic off if it will come off that is I guess we're going to need the cutters there we go just cut off the excess plastic there we are now you can either keep the base or throw it away um, for building purposes I'm going to keep the base but when I put them on the layer um, I won't use the bases, so these just, there we are, fitting there like that. So now what you need to do, start from the bottom going up, so just twist these tree armatures. And remove them around into a sort of a realistic shape, I guess. There we go, so something like that, I guess. Let's put that one down. So now what you're going to do, you're going to take your hobby tack adhesive. Let's give it a... Ouch. Don't do that, guys. There we are, shake that up. It's got the brush included as well, so you don't need to use your own brush. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to scrape off the excess. There we are. We don't want too much on our brush. Now you only want to put the hobby tack on the ends of the branches because that's where the foliage would naturally grow. So, um, keep coating them, put a, I'd say a reasonable amount on there, so um, that way your foliage sticks, because the last thing you want is the foliage coming off.
There we go, so that's nicely and evenly coated. So um, what I'll do is I'll go off camera and do the rest and um, I'll put you back on when I'm done. Okay, so there we go. Um, I've put all the hobby tack on it and um, some I did before dinner and the rest I did after dinner. This is stuff I'm using. So um, basically you leave it until it goes clear and tacky. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to leave this overnight to go tacky because some I did before dinner and some I did after dinner and they're all at different levels of tackiness so I feel as if it's best just to leave this overnight to go all clear and tacky and um, basically it's quite hot down here in the garage as well so I don't really want to spend too long down here. So anyways, I'll leave these to go tacky overnight and I'll put you back on when they're done. Okay, so it's now been overnight and these are all nice and tacky. So now what we can do, we can put our foliage on there. Just put it in the container that the kit comes in. And if anyone's wondering the part number, there it is, LK953. So yeah, now that these are all ready to go, let's add the foliage. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up. Bench is still a little bit sticky from the glue that dripped off. So what you need to do, there's two ways you can add the foliage. So once you've got your tree covered in the hobby tack and it's gone tacky, you simply just dip the tree in there like so. <clears throat> And then, of course, you can prune your tree as well. You know, just put the foliage on where the foliage would naturally grow. So I um, think what I'll do is I'll go up ahead off camera and um, finish these all up. So I'll put you back on when they're all done. Okay, so um, there we go. There's all the trees done. Pretty happy with them. So um, now that they're done, we can continue building with the new scene. So let's head over to the new scene and I'll show you what I'll be doing next. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding some bushes, so in here we've got some bushes, if I can find the camera. So I've got some light green bits in there, but it's predominantly darker green. And then the trees that we just built, um, this is the leftover foliage. Don't throw this out. This is really useful for bushes and stuff like that. And you can also make it to... You can also use it to make extra trees as well if you've got like the spare armatures from different kits. So don't throw this out. So let's put some bushes on and you'll see how it looks. Alright, excellent. So, all the bushes are on now, and, and I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So, um, now that all the bushes are on, um, with the trees that we made earlier in this video, we can now put those on, so I'll show you what I'll do with those.
okay so we've got all the trees on there now as you can see and um, I didn't film all of it because it was a little bit difficult um, got some trees left in there but they're gonna be for the end right around there so that's where they're gonna go so um, yeah I'm gonna do those ones off camera anyway so um, yeah I'm pretty happy with how those look so yeah let me know what you think all right so um i think we'll leave it there for this video i do hope you enjoyed it um hopefully you've enjoyed this um little series i'm doing on making this scene and if anyone's wondering is it finished no it's not finished yet um there's still a perimeter fence which needs to run all the way along there i currently don't have that fence um it's gonna be a while before the fence comes back in stock at the hobby shop approximately a month and a bit so I had to wait um, there will be a part five concerning this scene here so part five will be a fence and obviously the back scene to finish it off and um, yeah so that's the idea with part five so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think of it and um, I'll see you guys next time bye everyone